as you'll see, it's very difficult to cut through Icelandic stone. Pick this up in Iceland off the beach and I'm going to be using it with this titanium pendant that broke as I was working on it. So I've got a broken thing and a thing I'm trying to break and the titanium was surprisingly easy. It just snapped in my, uh, in my reverse action pliers when I was trying to mount the stone. So then I had to come up with a new thing to do with the stone and the piece. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll show you what it's like trying to polish, not polish, uh, cut through this thing. Now I've, dis I've discovered that you can't just go at it. You've gotta get like a little pilot hole going and then rotate the stone and then rotate the, your Dremel. So it's like a, it's a, it's kind of fun uh, because it's something different and you get a real feel for the uh, stone. The dust is like powder. I should, I should be wearing uh, a dust mask, but I'm not. Uh, in the future I'll do that, but I got a broken foot with a really cool cast cover and I don't feel like hopping around to get a dust mask, even though there should probably be one close by. Maybe I'll look, uh, but yeah, here we go. Trying not to breathe. It's like uh, chocolate rain. I to move to the back to hide my breath. I'm gonna to switch to a different bit. Oh, if I get through it, I'll update the video. I made it through. Had to switch bits a couple times. Let's see if you can see the hole. There it is. There we go. So I'm going to try to match that hole to the brakes on either of the pieces of the titanium pendant. So it'll look like it went through. Hopefully it'll look cool, I don't know. But, you know, you never know till you try. <laughs> 